good morning to you. Welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles this bright Saturday morning, very, very early. I think it's just gone seven o'clock and we're out for an early ride test this morning. This one's going out to our customer, Josh, and he has purchased the LX RSE. These are in big demand at the moment. This is the last one in our showroom and he was very, very happy to get this. So we're just going to go in on the bike, have a quick look round, and then what we're going to do is switch to the other camera. So this one only comes in one colour. You've got the red tank, you've got that nice powder coated red frame and then just working around the bike absolutely gorgeous looking bike from the front on this and those lovely panels with the Alex RSE all over them and the Lextech sticker as well this is running the GP1 can so what we're going to do we're going to switch up to the other camera on this one and then what we're going to do is have a nice in-depth view of the bike all the way around on the other camera before I switch back to the drift and we'll go out and do a ride test on this bike. So looking at the bike up close, um, we're on the second camera. And you can see nice stainless, that's the GP1 can on that one. Nice easy view of that rear brake reservoir and you've got that nice rear disc just to the back there. Just moving along the bike, very very easy just to get in, check your oil level down there and a quick look at the frame. Lovely powder coated red frame on this one. And just a quick look at the sticker, so you've got the Lextec sticker there and the badge in there with the SELXR. Now this does have the inverted forks on this one. So a quick look at those inverted forks. And as you can see from the front, those nice big meaty front discs and pads on that one. Quick look around the front and then you've got those two hawk lights to the front and a single daytime runner. LED indicators on this one. And then just looking down the back on this one, and we're just going to pull back a bit just to get a good look at this bike and then finally the only difference between this and the LXR standard is that aluminium swing arm that is really nicely refined on that one so what we're going to do we're going to bring the lights up on this one very simple just to turn the lights on let the dash do what it needs to do and then just fire the bike up on the side stand so a lovely little purr from this engine going to work around the front so at the moment that is currently running all lights on if I just go to the bars on this one and it's very very easy just to switch across on this we go to the middle setting which is your daytime runner so you've got your daytime running light just there and then you've got the LED rings that come up around the side if you go back to the very very first position for daytime running on the bars just by clicking the button over that will bring up just the daytime running light on this and obviously as a biker I always say to people run permanently lights on makes you a little bit more visible to people so just coming in on those switches you've got your start button just at the bottom you've got daytime running lights daytime running light and the two main lights and then full on and that takes the daytime running light off kill button is just there Across on the left bars you've got your main beam to the top, you've got your indicators and just below that you have the horn as well. And then in on the dash, your neutral right and your indicators come up on the left hand side, your camera in the middle, <coughs> and then your miles an hour and your mileage odometer and fuel tank all to the bottom, and the gear indicator as well. So the final look around that bike also on the back of the switch gear you also have your passing light or what we call the headlamp flash so we're going to switch back to the other ride camera now have a good look around this bike and then take it out for a run so here we go then just sitting on the bike and I'm just going to glove up for the moment. Now with these mirrors, nice long view of those mirrors, you've got quite a lot of road. There's literally about a sixteenth of my shoulder in that mirror. And then we're just going to bring the left hand one in as well, just to adjust those mirrors up. And the same thing again, I've got about a sixteenth of my shoulder in that mirror. So those mirrors are very, very wide on this LXR. Side so stand up, engage it into gear. And just before we head off, We've got some nicely bronzed 
anodized tops to the tops of those forks so it is a really nice looking bike compared to the standard LXR this is absolutely beautiful and I have been waiting to ride one of these for such a long time so we're just going to bring it out check the traffic and work our way through the gearbox on this <coughs> And a nice deep growl from that exhaust can. So a nice gear indicator as well, telling me I'm in fourth gear at the moment. And then up into fifth. And we just bring the power on. And the foot pegs on this are very, very good. Grip your feet very, very well. Seating position is very, very similar to the LXR. But it does feel like the seat back is just slightly higher. So it feels like a little bit higher perched up, but obviously without comparing it to a standard LX, I'm getting off one and onto the other. But it rides absolutely beautiful. And as you know, if you follow a lot of my videos, I am a sports bike rider. And I am just so accustomed to this riding position. Obviously on my bike, handlebars are a lot lower down, but the riding style on this one is a little bit higher in the bars, so you're not going to end up with really bad aching wrists after a few miles. Very, very comfortable riding position. Knees are tucked in nicely into that tank. So it's an absolutely perfect seating position, and those mirrors have got a perfect view of all the lanes of the road as well, so it's really, really good all-round visibility on this one perfect view of that dash and you can't get much better than these LXRSEs. Now obviously uh, another blogger that I know uh, goes by the name of Spicy110 has done numerous videos on the SE and he absolutely loves it. And they obviously did have one, they've done quite a lot of blogs on it but this is a ride test for a customer so I'm going to be sticking to a nice steady 4042 on this one, taking my time with it running the bike in and getting some mileage now the bar positions all the levers have all been uh, adjusted up for me all the controls are very very easy to get to from your fingertips but this bike rides absolutely perfect and the the rubber on these tires is really really grippy compared to the tires that uh, Lex Moto were using a couple of years ago these tires are absolutely superb and with that aided suspension on the front, that inverted fork position, which is what you'll find on a lot of the big uh, super sports bikes, and even a lot of the Tourers, they all have the inverted forks. That suspension is absolutely soaking up those bumps. And I'm not getting a lot of response up through the bars, which is what I like. Just enough to feel that there's a bump there, but it's not bouncing around like you would have with a normal bike with just the standard forks. And obviously, uh, the other difference to this between the SC and the LXR standard <coughs> is that swing arm at the back. And there are a couple of benefits from obviously spending the extra little bit of money and getting yourself an SE. Reason being, still swing arm is going to uh, eventually corrode away, like most motorcycles. With an aluminium swing arm, it's lighter it's more durable, it's a lot bigger and you're not going to have the corrosion problems that you get with a standard metal swing arm so added bonus on that one and you'll find a lot of the big, big sports bikes going from sort of 600ccs upwards all have now aluminium swing arms simple fact is better road holding, better traction better all round performance and this is just showing as I'm trying to pick up a load of potholes as I go down this dual carriageway and the response, I can feel the bumps coming up through the seat but it's not bouncing me around or feeling those bumps like you would with a standard LXR so this SE is really over the top and does the job what we're going to do, we'll do a couple of uh, quick tests that I normally do and the first one just checking the traffic behind me to take the hand off the bars absolutely holds a perfect line that rubber is just gripping the road bike is very very well planted very well seated 
and then the next one when I come into some roundabouts we're going to try the brakes out and we're just going to push it through the corners just taking it easy on this rubber because obviously we've only got about four miles on the clock but already those tyres are very very grippy so red light coming towards us we're going to leave it right to the last minute and then come in hard on the front brake with the clutch in and then just pull it down hard so really good response from that front brake on that now this does have the combined braking system on that so you've got one disc that will work just the front brake and then on your combined braking for your rear pedal you will have a combination of the front brake and the rear brake so 70% to the front and 30% to the rear and it really does pull up on both those sets of brakes exceptional stopping distance on this one just does pull up on a sixpence as they say so this time we're going to clutch in and I come down hard on that back brake and then really stops hard again so absolutely perfect brakes on this little SE so so far on the PDI we found absolutely zero faults it has been QC checked by the technician he found absolutely nothing again so these little SEs are absolutely built to perfection and the clutch response on this absolutely perfect pulls through the box very very well and even on just rev match no rev matches just clicking down through the box it's not clunky it's not uh, jarry it's a very very soft gearbox on this one so what I will do on the next roundabout as we come in I'm going to be rev matching it down just to see what it's like with a bit of throttle response and see what the engine braking is like to use the gearbox to brake and not use any of the brakes on either the levers or the foot pedal so this one's due to go out in a couple of weeks we're currently at a 20 day prep due to the fact that we've got so many bikes coming through and uh, our next delivery as I keep knocking on about is August the 18th to Eclipse Motorcycles it's the same all around the country everybody is waiting for bikes because the uh, demand on these bikes has helped strip the supply so Lex Moto currently waiting on the next batch of uh, motorcycles to come in we have got another SE that is on the way to us uh, I've also got four LXRs coming in one of those is already pre-reserved so I'd always say if you're if you can wait to get yourself a bike get to your nearest dealer ask them if you can put a pre-order or a deposit on one of the ones that are coming in because as soon as those bikes hit the showrooms they are going to be sold straight away so if you don't get to the showroom quick enough or you don't get yourself a pre-order placed on one of these you are going to lose out and then the next batch of bikes to come in is going to be late September I think it's going to be the 22nd for the next batch to come in so get yourself one order because as soon as it comes in bikes are going to be absolutely going crazy again I think we've got 14 Titans on order 4 LXRs, 2 Iskers, 2 Assaults uh, about 5 ZSBs coming so I know currently we've ordered 52 bikes they are going to be hitting our showroom on the 18th of August and out of those 52 we have already sold I believe about 12 so already we are selling bikes on deposit customers very very happy to know that they are going to get one of those bikes as soon as they hit our showroom obviously it takes us a couple of days to build them bike technicians are going to be uh, having a little build party going to be working a bit of overtime building bikes having a little bit of a, an evening session of bike builds with the pizzas and the cokes and then we'll be phoning customers to say your bikes are here now if you obviously wanted to put a pre-order down on one of these bikes so we're going to take for instance the Titan which is priced at 1490 if you wanted to secure one of those what we ask for is a 10% deposit on the price of the bike so Titan you'd be looking at putting £149 down and then once that bike comes in we'd give you a call say your bike is here and ask you to make the final payment of that £1,341 so that is how we work now most dealers will do that they'll ask for either a securing deposit 
or they would ask for 10% of the bike. So just coming in onto the end of the dual carriageway mileage, we're going to be editing the video out very, very shortly. And then obviously if we do get any issues, we will leave any issues in the video. If we don't get any issues at all, what we'll do then is just edit and fast forward to where I come back into the urban route. So I say this one's going out to Josh. So he gets to see me riding the bike a nice steady 41, 40, 41 mile an hour. Just to show him that uh, we are sticking to the Lex Moto run-in procedure. And that is the other thing that I keep banging on about. Make sure that your dealer, whoever supplies you the bike, is not banging this bike straight up to 63 or whatever they will do, top whack, just to see what it will do, because you are going to be wearing that engine at an excessive rate. It is designed to be run in. Now a lot of people have said, oh the engines on the Lex Motos are already pre-run in. Yes, but Lex Moto have stipulated that you must, for the first 1500 kilometres of the bike, run that bike in. So it rev matching down, and that pulls down great with a little bit of engine torque on it. So not a lot of brake I was using there, just lightly covering the front brake. But the uh, engine torque on this, just for rev matching and using the gearbox to pull you down, works exceptionally well. So what we'll do now, we're going to edit the video out. We're going to get some more road miles on this one. And then we'll come back into you when we have done the urban route. So we'll catch up with you very, very shortly. So we're just coming back off of the dual carriage right now. Final couple of miles, 18 miles in, absolutely zero issues on this SE. And just a nice steady lean round the roundabout, and you can see how well these tyres hold now that they've been scrubbed in effectively. So we're going to make our way back into town, do a little bit of urban mileage on this bike. I can tell you a little bit more about the bike. So it's a water-cooled machine on this one same as all the LXRs and it's absolutely perfect it's a gorgeous bike on this one so just to fill you in and I always do my reach and if you don't know what reach is it's my five things that I always do on every bike so it's reliability economy affordability comfort handling reliability you can't get much better than an LXR. They were the biggest selling bike for Lex Moto last year. They sold absolutely loads of these. And in the overall uh, registered bikes online, they were number two. Only one big band, big brand bike actually beat it in the 125 series. But obviously that is a big brand bike and you're spending twice the amount of money on that big brand bike. So reliability on this, absolutely spot on. Economy, you're going to get some really good miles to the gallon out of this. I was quite surprised when um, we saw the figures for it, and it was just over the 100 to the gallon again, just like the Titans. So if you take it easy, you're going to get some really good mileage out of this. Now the tank on this, although the, uh, the actual tank panel looks really, really big, that is just the cover. There is a smaller tank underneath, but it's still going to take quite a good amount of fuel. Obviously, check out the spec on the bike. I'm not going to go into huge in-depth reviews about how many gallons it holds, what the seat height is. You can find that all on the Lexmodo page by uh, going to lexmodo.co.uk, clicking on the SE, and view the spec on it. So you can do that yourself. I'll give you some homework to do. But obviously, it was the number one uh, best-selling bike, so economy perfect so reliability of 10 economy of 10 affordability obviously is a little bit more money for the SE but you're getting so much more bike compared to the standard LXR the LXR is brilliant in its own right but this one is just that little bit of icing on the cake it's like going to the bakers and asking for a bland muffin and then asking for a chocolate covered muffin I know which one I'd rather go for chocolate every time for me so this thing is just the icing on the cake and it is just such a beautiful bike so affordability obviously if you've not got a lot of money in your bank account you may struggle on that so I'm gonna give it a nine for affordability I would like to see the price of this come down a little bit but obviously you're getting a hell of a lot of bike for the money so uh, 
I'm only going to mark it down one point. Comfort on this, absolutely spot on. Now, obviously, I'm a sports bike rider myself, and the comfort on this is absolutely superb. I really like the riding position. It is natural to me because I've been on sports bikes all my life, so the comfort on this is absolutely beautiful. That seat just tucks you in, you get your knees under the tank. You can't get a better riding position, and with these uh, slightly higher bars, it's not so achy on the wrist. Now, I've done 18 miles. Now, normally on mine, if I was riding, I'd have wrist ache by now, just for my riding position. But obviously this one, it's a little bit higher up in the bars, and it is absolutely beautiful. So comfort as a full 10 out of 10. Handling, well, if you've seen my previous video that I did on the black one, we took one of the standard LXRs out uh, last year. It's on one of my blog posts somewhere on the uh, YouTube have a look for it but I actually took one out and on this roundabout we cranked it over now I'm going to crank this one over a little bit more and you can see from the lean angle how far that goes over now I'm on fresh rubber once that's worn in that is going to be amazing so rubber on this is really really good it handles absolutely perfect with that swing arm that alley swing arm and those inverted race forks on the front it's absolutely pristine. I can't fault the things so out. If I could give it 20 out of 10, I would, but I'm going to give it the full 10. And obviously, personal choice, I really like this bike. I absolutely adore this bike. Con considering that I ride a lot of LXRs for test rides, and this is the first SE, this thing has absolutely stunned me and blown me away. It's just so good. So Josh, you're in for a treat when you get your bike, my friend, because this thing is just so good. So I'm going to give it sort of the 49 out of 50, just for the fact that it is a bit pricey, and obviously if you're a young rider and you're looking at an LXR, this may be a little bit out of your price range, but I'd say, Dad or Mum, please can I have the extra £300 for one of these? So I would go SE every time. Um, the paint colour is really appealing, obviously the standard black LXRs and you've got the gun metals and you've got the white and blues. I prefer the gun metal, but obviously this SE only comes in one colour and this colour is absolutely perfect, so really really good. Well done Lex Moto, absolutely perfect on the paintwork. So uh, 49 out of 50, Lex Moto LXR SE125, that is available, give the guys at Eclipse a call, we've got another one coming in if you did want one, so let them, uh, let them know that you want one of these, and you can place that pre-order for that one that is coming in, obviously we've got a lot more bikes coming through the pipeline at the moment, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, or you can give it a thumbs down, I really don't care. All I'm about is just reviewing it and helping you guys out when it comes to deciding what bike you want to choose. And uh, obviously plenty more videos are going to be coming up. We're going to try and get this one uploaded and edited by tonight. So Josh can get to see his bike being ridden over the weekend. Until next time guys, RB signing out, uh, wishing you uh, be well, ride safe, Take care, whatever you're doing this weekend. Have yourself a good one, and it's a goodbye from me.